briefly now we're going to look at uh, the bacterial growth curve. Um, so as the cells undergo binary fission and start to divide, they're going to double right, for every generation. So, um, so you have one cell, then it becomes two, and then there's four, and then there's eight, and then 16, and, and so forth. So the number of cells you have is going to keep doubling and doubling. Uh, the time it takes for them to double uh, is called the generation time. So we said in general, it might be 40 minutes or so, um, but depending upon um, the number of origins of replication, like for e, e. coli, it could be shorter. So it could be once every 20 minutes or so. That would be, that's the, the overall generation time. So what we see though, initially, is if you were to place bacteria um, into a culture. So if you had a, let's see, a culture flask, and it contained uh, some broth, and you added bacteria to the culture, and let's say you had just a small number of cells. So for example, I'll use this over here. Uh, we just added 10 cells to the culture. <clears throat> they wouldn't immediately start dividing. What would happen is they would prepare for division. So remember, there has to be DNA replication. There has to be the manufacture of the new NAM and NAG. There has to be a whole variety of other proteins and enzymes replicated. Enzymes that would be involved in glycolysis and pyruvate oxidation, citric acid cycle, and other processes need to double up. That the new cell needs to have um, equal concentrations of all those enzymes as the original cell. So we have to double up pretty much everything. And so during that stage where we're doubling everything, And sometimes the size could even be increasing. So the elongation part, say in the bacilli, may be occurring, you know, as well, but we're not dividing yet, all right? And so this particular phase is called the lag phase. So it's our, all the steps of prep, it doesn't mean they're inactive. It means they're in preparation for growth. And now technically, I'm gonna put a little asterisk here, Growth for bacteria is we mean division. We mean number. We don't mean we do not mean size. However, I put a little asterisk there. Yes, there could be some change in size actually during this. Uh, like I said, in preparation for a bacilli to divide. So growth could mean a little bit of size growth. That's not typically the case for the uh, coxie type cells. Uh, but in general, what we're talking about is just the manufacturing of new molecules, new proteins, new enzymes, more carbohydrates, variety of things that we need to be present in the new cell. And then the division begins and cells will start to divide. Now this growth is what we refer to as exponential growth. Exponential markers dying. Okay. And I'll kind of point it over here because they're just going to keep doubling, 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 doubling. And at first, it may not seem like a lot. So usually the curve doesn't go, I, I drew it kind of steep um, immediately, almost here. But really, what we're going to see here is uh, there's going to be a time period where the cell number um, isn't going to go up a lot. And then it's really going to go up uh, a lot more. And I'll kind of explain to you why over here. So let's say we'll use the example of uh, E. coli that has a generation time of 20 minutes. So that means there'd be three divisions roughly in an hour. And if we started off with 10 cells of, say, E. coli in this culture, at the end of the first hour, we'd have 40 cells. So more right but not you know not a lot not not significantly uh, more um at the end of the second hour we now have 320. so still that's that's quite a bit more but but you know really comparatively we're going to end up here with a mil you know i'm going to stop when we get to over a million cells and so after two hours we're not we're not even close to that we don't even have a thousand cells here we have 300 cells so very small number so the first two hours you're going from 10 to 300 cells after three hours now you have 2560 cells so that's you know again that's a lot more than 300 but it's not uh all that great 
And then what starts to happen is once you, you start to hit a point where the doubling, the number you're doubling is starting off with already a big number. So the number of cells increasing each hour okay, by time becomes incredibly high. All right, so now we go from at the three hour mark having 2000 cells to the four hour mark having 20,000 cells. So there's 10 times more cells, you know, in just that one, well, roughly 10 times, not quite, well, almost 10 times, almost 10 times more cells in roughly that one hour. Okay. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a, a really big uh, jump there. And, and then we're going to see here again, once again, at, at hour five, 160,000. But now watch this. We go from 160,000 at hour five, the end of an hour six, over a million. So here we're still only like a hundred thousand, and boom! All of a sudden we're over a million cells because of this almost like ten times increase uh, in cells each time. That's the logarithmic time. It really starts to become great. Uh, and and so now after you know one hour you only had forty cells, but after six hour well over a million cells. Right. And so that's what we're talking about here in this. Um, this is called now the log phase or the exponential growth phase. So the log phase, and that is where we see, we call exponential growth. There's going to become a point now where nutrients start to run out. So there's going to be limitations, and, and this is going to be, I put nutrients, question mark, you know, density, you know, of cells as well. Uh, so cells have the ability to do something called quorum sensing. It's a bit of the reason why when you look at an auger plate, and you have bacteria growing on the plate forming colonies. Some colonies are really small. Some colonies are really large. It does not necessarily have to do with the size of the cells. Uh, they're all kind of a relatively the same size, but if you've looked under a microscope at some that you've stained yourself, you'll know that, yeah, some, some are, are bigger than others. Um, but the sizes of those colonies are more related to the individual species and their um, sensing of the number of other cells that are around them. And when they sort of start to cut off, that point where they continue to divide. So they kind of stop dividing at this point. And we enter into what we call then a uh, stationary phase. And while the cells can still divide, some they either kind of stop dividing, they slow down, and then we may start to get uh, cells dying. So we may still have division And there may be cell death. But overall, this is where we see the cell number kind of leveling out. And then what we'll see is dependent upon, again, uh, typically, usually nutrients will enter a cell death phase. And so this is why I put here viable cell count. So we're talking about living cells. Now, the actual cell number you know, it's going to stay the same if you were just to look at this directly through the microscope and not use any type of vital dye. Um, the number of cell, the cells, unless they lysed for some reason, um, are still going to be there. So you would still be counting cells and they would just kind of hit a certain number and they would kind of stay, you know, at this number. But if you were to use a vital dye and able to see that which cells are alive and which cells are dead, you would start to see that the, the living cell number would start dropping because cells would start dying. There's something else that can happen here. Um, is that there are, and that's normal. So that's those are the general phases. So we have the, the lag phase in the beginning. So you should just be able to label them, these on a graph and define them. Lag phase is more the preparation for growth. All, there can be some physical growth, usually limited amount. Um, but mostly it is um, what we're talking about, manufacture of new molecules. 
the log phase where we actually see the binary fission, the increase in number of cells, and this kind of keeps increasing and increasing to the point where uh, it becomes very rapid over a very short period of time. Eventually, the cells start to become limited, or there's feedback in some way that tells them to stop, slow down, and our cells start to die. Right? And, and it could be the nutrient uh, limitation that causes this. And so we enter into a stationary phase. And then if they don't get any more nutrients, then they die and they enter a death phase. However, some cells have, or some species, you know, have the ability to get into a second log phase. And this is called a biphasic growth. Usually, this is when they, uh, they switch nutrients. So we'll talk about this again uh, a little bit later. We talk about regulation of gene expression. Um, but essentially what's happening here, are the cells may have the ability to use a different sugar than the primary one that they're using, but they're just not using it at this point in time. So they're using up the nutrient that's available to them that nutrient runs out, it's all consumed, the cells stop dividing because they don't have enough energy, and then if nothing else happens, that nutrient doesn't become available and they cannot switch to use anything else that's available, then they die. But if they can switch nutrients and start to use something else, then the cells will start dividing again. Thing is, same thing will happen, you know, eventually that nutrient will run out and then they'll just enter a death phase again. But you can see two exponential growth phases, and that's what we call bi biphasic. There's, there's two of them. Um, and like I said, we'll, you'll, we'll come back to that again. The main thing from this is just no uh, definitions of lag, log, stationary, and death phases, and just be able to label them if you were given a, just a blank graph, uh, and just put them uh, on the chart and explain what's going on during each phase. Uh, and that's pretty much it for it. So that's kind of going to wrap up the, um, the major topics and terminology related to um, bacterial cell division or binary fission. Um, and then we're going to start to look at next the uh, more, a little bit here, regulation uh, of growth and division.